Corpus Christi, nicknamed the sparkling city by the sea. Corpus Christi is one of Texas' top seaside destinations. Corpus Christi is also the home to the Whataburger, where the Whataburger baseball field is located. This year on October 3rd, 2021, the All Team Bash Car Show was held at the Whataburger field parking lot. Let's check it out. Made it to my first car show. One that I actually put my vehicle in. 50 plus years of being a car guy, and this is the first time that I've ever entered my vehicle. Check out my personalized license plate. All right, I kind of like it, I hope you do. Let me give you a walk around just a little bit. I've had this vehicle, I think coming up on seven years now. I did almost all the mechanical work. For, let's check it out. It's nice looking, I think. I like to drive it. But the interior is all custom to match the outside. Take a look at the inside and see what you think. There's the interior. And I'm matching on the outside. But let's finish around the back side. This car was automatic, but I made it manual. This vehicle did not have a spoiler, but I went ahead and added the spoiler. And I start to say it's a little embarrassing for an old guy like me to run around in this kind of pretend of a race car. But let me show you under the hood a little bit. Come on. So, when I bought it six years ago, it did not run and it did not move. I had to fix the fuel pump first to make it run. But once I fixed that, it wouldn't move. Then I had to fix the transmission. It has the original engine. The 7M GE. Too bad it's not the GTE, and I bet you most of you know what that T stands for. Come on in a little bit closer so you can see. That is the uh, 7M, the original one. Unfortunately, it is not the turbo. When I started driving it, it kept overheating, it kept overheating, and I determined it was the head gasket. I took the head off, and I found that the cylinders were scored, so here we go. We're going to have to bore it out. I went all out on this guy. I bored it out, turned the crank, new cam, new oil pump. Oh, I'll probably spend at least $3,000, and that's because of zero labor. I did all the labor myself. Pretty much every moving mechanical part on this vehicle has been replaced. The front suspension, the steering, the brakes. And again, I did convert it over to the, to the manual transmission because I did like it. For a while, I was driving it every day. In fact, I took a couple of road trips. I went all the way to College Station a couple of times and didn't have any trouble. I've taken it to Austin. I drive it around. I'm a driver. I like to drive the project cars. I joke around. Sometimes people spend more time rubbing their car than driving them. I call those folks rubbers. Thank you.
we've got another car guy here. His name's Robert. His Cadillacs stand out like they used to. Eh? The guy that built this car, it was a 75-year-old man. I <laughs> yeah, his name was El Camino Mike. How long you had it? Two years. You've had it two years. You, you drive it any? Who, me? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do drive it. That's important. Last week I was in the uh, Good Guys Car Show. So, show, tell us a little bit about that thing, the big thing under the hood. It's a 6.0. 2006 Corvette engine on it. Oh man, Corvette engine in it, huh? How's it run, man? It runs like a baby. And the, the paint job? Man, that's beautiful. Paint job. Tell us, tell us about what paint year? Up, a guy from California painted. Car is beautiful. And you've got that other one, right? Yeah. Alright. Ah. Well, <laughs> I like the fins on that one. Be sure to get a shot of that other one. What, what year is that one? 61. And this one? 64. Okay, let's take a look inside, Bob. Interior is from a, it's, on, it's got El Dorado seats. All right. What kind of suspension you got? It's got some, it's some hydraulics. It's folks like this that I appreciate. People that are willing to drive their vehicle to the car show instead of putting them on a trailer. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Okay.